안녕하세요 철은 제임스입니다 Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have to thank the Agase for helping me achieve my goal of a thousand subscribers before my birthday. I'm recording this video um, middle of the week of the week that my birthday ends the week and you guys achieved it before this week even started. I appreciate you guys so much. Um, with that being said, I already posted the video, the thank you video that explained that we will be doing seven days with God7, but First, we're going to finish out this week because I am traveling at the end of this week. So, we have this video where we are going to do the explanation of the flight log series. So, I'll see how wrong I was. Um, and then we're also going to do the explanation of the bird in the same video. So, it's going to be around 20 minutes. Uh, bear with me, guys. And then uh, Saturday, uh, and then Saturday, we are doing You Are as the title track and Teenager as the B side. So, um, always comment down below more videos you want to see guys we're gonna have seven days coming up um, full of got seven content I need more ideas so let me know guys and always if you haven't subscribed please subscribe down below give this video a like and uh, let's get into this guys after the last part of the trilogy came out that we all needed a video that connected everything let's do it since the story and the trailers are not in order I made a timeline so you will see the complete story with all the videos English is not my first language, so I apologize for any... Hey, we just appreciate you doing this. As we know, the story begins with Gat7 in a car. Yeah, they're on a road trip. Did what's-his-face feel like an outsider? It's a GAB driving. Jin Young falls asleep, and that's the last time he sees the boys. Never ever we see JV in a car again, but he's not driving. Which means he doesn't have control over the car. Oh! So we know Gat7 had a car accident and Jin Young was the only one who survived. I'll show you why. He's in a very delicate condition and struggles to stay alive. After the accident, his soul is lost. He's alone and confused. Wow. I think we all know how that feels. We always feel like we're alone, but just know, guys, you're never alone. Never alone. You always have people. If you guys want to reach out to me, hell, reach out to me. Uh, the boys are not with them anymore. He's between life and death, so his soul is in the limbo. That's where he arrives in the trailer three. I don't know what the building is. He's a good actor. As I said earlier, the accident was on a bridge, so the car falls into the water and Got7 gets trapped inside. That's a nightmare. That's why the line's in water, the very last thing I remember, I was trapped. Perhaps that was the very last thing I remember. That just gives me anxiety seeing it. 
He's in the car, JB was driving, but it's not underwater. I feel I don't exist anymore, Jin Young thinks he didn't survive, but then he's revived in the hospital. Oh. That's such good acting. After the accident, Jin Young starts screaming with the boys. He fell asleep before the accident, right? So that's the last time he saw them. Now he always dreams that he wakes up and they're still there. In his dreams, the situation is always similar to the car the last time they were together. Yeah, that makes sense. Chaos, basically. That's why Jackson always has a video camera. Because that's the last memory of Jackson that Jinyang has. Every night when Jinyang falls asleep, he dreams the same thing. He wakes up and sees the boys again like nothing ever happened. Then Jackson is recording. But then the boys start flying. We already know that's because they're dead. It wasn't about anxiety, I guess. We can see five birds, which represents the rest of the members flying except Jinya. Oh, I didn't even realize there was birds there. In another dream, he tries to fly in order to be with the boys. Oh yeah, that's when he's on the building. Except from this dream in a very bright room, he's probably still in the hospital recovery. Turbulence trailer is a dream too. Jin Young is again dreaming with got six, just like he rem with got six, just like he remembered them from the last time they were together. Did he mean to have a six there? Oh yeah, in the plan. Bam on with his face paint. Oh yeah, because they pranked him. Sleep with Mark's earphones before the accident. God, I couldn't imagine being in a wreck like that and losing all your loved ones. Then the planet experienced some turbulence. He wants to help his friends. 
once again he can't reach them. He never interacted with them, he can't fly with them or save them. Because they're already dead. Wow. This is deep. What happens next is a reconstruction of the accident. The turbulence represents the crash. And the car falls from the bridge. While the car is falling, Got7 doesn't experiment, experiment gravity. They don't experience gravity? I think I'm following you. I think I'm following you. I didn't notice that they were they were going up like that, but the woman wasn't, and they reached the water. So the engineer wakes up, but now the boys are not there. Anymore. See the boys never left Junior upset. Junior is inside the car for the answer. But the boys never left. They're like guardian angels standing on the crash cars. Their souls are there to protect. Jin Yang feels depressed and lost, the members help him and give him strength. When Jin Yang wanted to fly, Gat 7 helped him. They wanted him to don't give up on life. They did pull him down, I remember that. But how did the boys die? Died trying to break the window because Jin Yang couldn't get out. Jackson died with the impact. How do we know these things? Oh. Okay. Mark probably died saving Junya. Bam died in the ambulance. He didn't make it to the hospital. Bam was connected to an oxygen mask because he couldn't breathe. JB didn't die at first, he even reached the surface. He returns to help the rest of the group.
and his sole goal is to visit Jin Young, who is in the emergency department too and struggling to stay alive. There's a transition between them and shows when Young, I, sorry I can't pronounce that, when Young Young, Young Young, sorry, 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 dies and leaves Jin Young alone in the hospital. Isn't it Young J? I thought, I don't know. Correct me guys, please. Um, leaves Jin Young alone in the hospital as the only survivor. This is sad. I'm impressed by the storyline and by this person figuring it out too. As time passes, Jin Young learns to live without the boys. Last scene, he's dreaming again. But this time is different. Again, he sees his friends but doesn't interact with them. He just watches them having fun. I will never ever give up. I'm not afraid of anything. Because you were there. Jiang is ready to be happy again and live his life without, with no guilt. I'm ready to fly. That was beautiful. It was at the end. So that's it. What do you think? I think that was incredible and I was so wrong. I couldn't include the explanation for the bird. No, but you did. Let's go to it. Alright, let's pause it first. So we're going to get into the explanation for the bird here, but I just want to talk a little bit on that. Um, I think it was so well done how they pieced it together and put it through everything. And I hope they do something like that again. That was a really, really deep story too. Um, has it's dark but has a good good story to it a good meaning you know that your friends are always there for you no matter if they're physically there with you or not and uh i mean it's sad what happened but i was thinking more anxiety depression but i mean that's the same now i wonder what the bird means because i threw out so many different explanations which i was wrong but let's see what the bird is here here's the explanation of the bird that i couldn't include in the last video if you haven't watched it yet, you should. Okay, good. I did it in the right order. I think we already know the bird represents j -bum. What's j -bum? In my previous video, I showed you GOT7 had a car accident. We don't know what could cause it, but JB feels responsible because he was driving. We already know he didn't die at first, he even reached the surface. Since he's a leader, he feels responsible for the safety of the group. This is why we see the bird in a cage. Davy feels guilty because he was driving when they crashed. Young J represents the rest of GOT7, they don't blame JB for what happened. Oh, okay, so JB represents the bird. Young J set the bird free, this represents that it's okay if JB lives, the accident wasn't his fault and there's no need to feel guilty. 
This is why the trees are still green. JV's alive and the boys try to let him know that it's okay if he survives. He can be free and live without guilt. Wow. JV feels responsible and returns to help the boys and dies. Now he's free and can join the boys. There's the other birds. There's a scene where many people thought JB was inside the cage. But actually he's outside. He opened the cage from the outside. And the tree's already dead. So when JB dies helping the boys, he frees himself from the cage, feelings of guilt. He did his best as a leader and now can rest in peace with the rest of the group. Why was the bird at the beginning trailer though? Otherwise he wouldn't be able to live with the guilt. I'm not trying to save them. Thanks for watching. Wow. Alright guys. Uh, yeah, I was completely wrong about everything, but that storyline is just amazing. Um, I, don't know, I feel really sad from the whole explanation because it's, it's mixing up a lot of feelings for me right now. But uh, I, I think... Friends and family are so important, and it's great for messages like this to know that, like, even if you lose people, they're still with you. You're never alone, guys. And uh, <clears throat> it's cool how they have that whole story where they're showing that, like, the leader wanted to take care of them, and, you know, it's okay for him to be free, and everything pieced together. It's, it's sadly beautiful, in a way. And um, the songs are great in it. Yeah, it was just a great experience overall for me. Um, I'm very excited for Saturday to uh, get into hopefully some better feelings uh, and uh, dive into You Are and Teenager. So that'll be Saturday. And then uh, the next video after that, when I come back from traveling, we'll start the seven days with God 7 But I will see you on God 7 Saturday, guys. Thanks for watching. Give this video a like. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see ya.